Well, on Tuesday, uh, we had a report of a fire in the basement at uh, 82 Mount Hope. Uh, arriving companies uh, initially had nothing showing. Uh, when they went to go investigate, they found a, a, a pretty decent smoke condition in the basement. Um, the Lieutenant of Engine 5 uh, found a fire in the electrical panel uh, coming out of the top of the electrical panel. Um, he immediately called for a uh, extinguisher into the basement and they were able to knock the fire down. Uh, we had to wait until North Adam Electric arrived along with the electrical inspector uh, before we could check for any extension uh, because of the live panel. Uh, had to have the meter pulled and then the power cut at the street. Damage to the home, and what does it mean to the residents? So the residents at this time, uh, they're out of the house uh, because of the electrical in nature. They had to cut the power. Uh, damage, uh, smoke damage in the basement. First floor had no real damage itself. Uh, they were luckily home at the time, uh, and the quick response by our firefighters, we were able to get the fire under control. We did get mutual aid in from our area departments um, because we weren't sure on the extension uh, piece of it, and we couldn't get a good handle on that until we got the power cut. So between floods the week before, fires, rescue calls, you guys have been a, a little bit busy, have you? Uh, just a little bit. Um, you know, the North Ottawa firefighters have done a tremendous job. Uh, the flooding on Monday night, they operated under dangerous, stressful, and unprecedented conditions. And I can't say enough about our firefighters. I have to thank our mutual aid partners that came in both to the working fire and also for the flooding. We had fire departments from here all the way down to Marion, Mattapoisa, and Onset.